not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. You find out life's just game of inches. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We add up all those inches. That's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Listen to me. If you do the three things I tell you to do tonight, I guarantee you, whatever it is you want to do in life, you'll be able to do. All men are created equal. Some work hard in preseason. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. That's number one. Watch number two. The most important thing is this. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Last one. Listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. I don't know what to say, really. All comes down to today. Either we heal as a team, or we're gonna crumble. Inch by inch, play by play, till we're finished. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. I think everybody has to have a personal philosophy of how you live your life. Uh, here's mine. You plus motivation equals success. It drives me. It's a passion. I was 16 years old. I heard the Reverend Bob Richards speak. Bob Richards looked over a group of these young kids at a basketball camp and said, the Lord must have loved ordinary people because he made so many of us. And then he said the line that changed my life. And he said, every single day in every walk of life, Ordinary people do extraordinary things. Ordinary people accomplish extraordinary things. How do you do that? How do you go from the ordinary to the extraordinary? I think it's the second thing. It's motivation. And motivation to me is enthusiasm. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, nothing great has ever been accomplished without enthusiasm. How enthusiastic are you every day?
great moments are born from great opportunities.